ladies and gentlemen, your first act for this evening. I'm excited to bring this lady to the stage. This is a real treat to have her here. Please clap your hands together. Go nuts, go crazy for the fantastic Nikki Britton. <laughs> well you know sometimes people say what do you do to not be nervous before a gig what do you do and uh, I've got a little routine that I do and I've done it tonight and every time I do I have a great gig so don't worry guys uh, what I do is I catch a taxi to the gig and then I just I rob the taxi driver I steal his car seat cover throw it around my neck as a necklace and it's fucking gold <laughs> every time yeah so it's gonna be fun guys it's gonna be fun oh I've also just had one of those great days you know those days where you get heaps of shit done and you feel like a champion? Like this afternoon, put on a load of washing, <laughs> brush my teeth, same day, right, same day. Then later, took down the Christmas tree. Fuck. <laughs> Smashing a guy. I'm nailing life. I'm actually, I'm nailing life. And uh, feels good to be nailing something. Feels good to be nailing something. Cause <laughs> not nailing anybody at the moment. <laughs> That's okay, I am, I'm single. What, how's it possible? Thank you, sir. I, um, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I, uh, a lot of people say, jump on the dating apps, Nikki. You'll feel, see, you'll meet someone that way. And um, I don't know, it called me old fashioned, but I would just rather attempt to make a soul connection with someone for the first time without having seen sort of their meaty chandelier just smushed into the lens of a camera. Just, there's my dick, there's my little dicky. Check it out, there's my fucking dick. No, no, thank you. I, um, I'd rather not get that in my face. That's, you can keep that. I'm going to lift the lid off something here, gentlemen. Um, we don't love to look at them. That's, that's the truth. I mean, you, you guys are proud of your manhood. That's good. You just, yeah, I'll take a picture of what turns her on. She'll fucking love it. She won't. She, she absolutely won't. You guys, you, you're visually stimulated. You love that. We're much more kinesthetic, you know? We're about touch and lyricism. Send us a text about how your fabulous dick's gonna feel inside us and we are on board. <laughs> but just that. No, that, no, no. That looks like something David Attenborough would find on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> uh, I don't, don't feel too bad for me though. I do, um, I do meet some gentlemen. In fact, I was, uh, I was seeing someone at the end of last year and things were going pretty well. And I thought maybe it was time to go all the way, you know, because we've been seeing each other for about two months and um, it was two weeks, it was probably two weeks. And <laughs> twice, we'd seen each other twice. So we went out to dinner and then we went back to my flat and I said, do you think tonight um, maybe we, we go all the way? And he said, no, I don't want to. And I said, oh, okay, yeah, okay, well, why is that? He said, because I'm a virgin and I love Jesus, which no judgment is spiritual choice, you know, like whatever gets you out of bed. But it was surprising because up until this point, he'd been very sexually experimentative. You know, he was, he, he, he tried to, he stuck it, he, this one, a lot of that one, wasn't it? A lot of that one. I know you know what I'm talking about, right? But you're like, there's nothing in that for us, gentlemen. There's nothing, there's no pleasure receptor on the sternum. There's no sort of, best we can do is push them together and give it a cosy home. And then, look, well, sometimes it pokes its head up and sometimes it doesn't. So you're forever there sort of, what do you do when it does? You just. Very undignified. It's like that whack-a-mole game at time zone, just waiting for the crocodile to come out of there. Ridiculous. So I said to him, you're gonna, you're gonna have to explain it to me. And he said, well, Jesus believes it's a sin to engage in intercourse before marriage. Because without the intention of procreating, essentially you're killing your seed, you're wasting your seed. So um, just to clarify for you guys, Jesus is not okay with traditional peni in vagino lovemaking before marriage. Jesus is not okay with that. Apparently, Jesus is absolutely fine with you placing your cock in a lady's mouth while she fingers your asshole. That's fine with Jesus. I know, I too was surprised, but you know, this guy's read the Bible. It's in there somewhere. So, um, yeah. So I thought, okay, we're here. We'll do everything but. Uh, not everything but, please. Um, <laughs> Jesus, hate that even more, apparently. <laughs> Everything else, right? And so we were going about it and, and he was approaching climax. I could tell because he's got that face that boys get, you know, where they look like they're either going to vomit or punch you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, here he comes. And uh, 
and he said, oh, where should I put it? And I said, I don't know, where, where do you want to put it? He said, I know where I want to put it. And it was this area, which you get a lot, don't you, as a woman? I don't know why, I don't know why, because I don't think it's finished in the history of the world without the gentleman going, oh, oh, oh king of the world! <laughs> I'll, um, I'll get you a towel. <laughs> Every time. And then we just feel sorry for you. <laughs> and yet he requested it. He said, where should I put it? I said, I don't know, where, where do you want to put it? He said, I know where I want to put it. And I made the mistake of saying, would Jesus be okay with that? And that was not the right thing <laughs> to say, but put him right off his game. He went, ah, oh, 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 I shit you not. Walked over to my bedroom window, opened it, jizzed out my third story apartment. <laughs> I'm sorry you've received the mime jizz there. <laughs> and as he looked down at it with a face full of shame, I said, well, the, I mean, they died for your sins, didn't they? So, it's like, it's like Messiah sperm. <laughs> the second coming. <laughs> so I'm still single, you guys. I'm still single and um, got a pretty nasty stain on the top of my car. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'm Nikki Britton.